Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. Regardless of the environment where they operate, the United States Armed Forces are known to be always combat ready as a result of undertaking regular and effective training exercises. In today's feature, let us explore how the gigantic machines of the U.S. Armed Forces such as submarines, aircraft, and other vehicles efficiently operate, especially in the icy regions of our planet. The Arctic regions provide a perfect operating environment because sea ice gives submarines cover, making it nearly difficult for their locations to be tracked or for them to be spotted from the air. However, that same sea ice makes it extremely difficult for submarines to communicate above the surface. Therefore, whenever such a situation arises, these enormous maritime vessels must be able to break through the ice. To be prepared for these eventualities, the U.S. Navy conducts a program known as ICEX, or Ice Exercise. Field agents are sent out onto the vast ice field to prepare the terrain. First, they mark the exact spot where the submarine will surface. Then they use core drills to create a hole in the surface once they have discovered the region of thin ice. After drilling a hole, they insert an acoustic beacon so that the submarine can track it and reasonably confirm that the ice is indeed thin enough for it to surface. The submarine shatters the thick layer of ice as it rises from several feet below. Sailors then manually push ice off the massive submarine, sometimes using chainsaws and other tools to hack away loose blocks of ice near the hatches. Apart from U.S. Navy submarines breaking through ice during surfacing, the U.S. Coast Guard also employs its robust icebreakers to cut through ice and pave the way for ships passing through these icy regions. For instance, the U.S. CGC icebreaker, dedicated to scientific research in the Arctic. Icebreaker ships with the help of a strengthened hull and the power of a robust engine push through the frozen land and lead to the discovery of new passageways. Icebreakers usually assist in escorting convoys of one or more ships to safely navigate through icy regions. Some icebreakers are also used to support scientific research in the Arctic and Antarctic and help in delivering much needed supplies and equipment for the personnel.
Other than these gigantic marine vessels, some aircraft are specially built to operate in such frosty conditions. One such aircraft is the four-engine turboprop cargo plane, the LC-130, which is the backbone of U.S. transportation within Antarctica. This aircraft provides much of the air service between McMurdo Station and New Zealand. The LC-130 is the polar version of the popular C-130 cargo plane. Its major unique feature being the ski landing gear, which allows for flawless takeoff and landing on snow or icy surfaces. The plane can carry about 28,900 pounds of cargo to and from McMurdo in Antarctica without refueling. It cruises at 275 knots with a wingspan of 131 feet and an overall length of 98 feet. While such aircraft are employed for operating in the extreme hemispheres of this planet, proper maintenance is required for long-lasting and effective airworthiness. This is not restricted to timely checkup of the aircraft parts, but more importantly removing and preventing a buildup of snow and ice on the wings and tail sections. The effective functioning of these parts can be altered by the accumulation of snow and ice, which limits the surface airflow and reduces lift. Whenever snow, ice, or even frost has accumulated on the aircraft, the de-icing facility is employed to have it removed. For this, Special de-icing fluid, which is a mixture of a chemical called glycol and water, is generally heated and sprayed under pressure to remove ice and snow on the aircraft. You mix it, we heat that in the truck to 185 degrees, and then we spray the aircraft with that. That'll help melt off any more ice that's left behind or any snow that just won't leave. And then we, once it melts it off, we can just blow the, the big chunks off of the hot air smooth operation, all environmentally safe, and the people are safe because they're inside out of the noise. However, while it removes ice and snow, de-icing fluid has a limited ability to prevent further ice buildup. When it comes to operating in such snowy conditions, military vehicles such as the U.S. Marine M1 Abrams tanks also put up an incredible show. For instance, on January 30th of 2017, the President of Poland formally welcomed American soldiers during a ceremony at Carlike Range. The ceremony culminated with a combined arms live fire exercise between the two nations. during which the combat capabilities of the M1 Abrams tanks were tested in the icy region. Besides this, the U.S. Marines M1A1 tank crews have also partnered with the Norwegian Telemark Battalion. They've learned techniques on driving these tracked vehicles in wintry conditions and on slippery tracks. The 
United States Armed Forces stand out as one of the most powerful military forces in terms of personnel, armaments, and combat capabilities. This prowess is usually attributed to the exceptional training exercises that their various operatives and powerful machines must undergo before being certified for important missions. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.